This video is a brief overview of the optical flow workflow within Ion Dimension. Ion Dimension works within Ion Fusion and requires Fusion 6.31 or later. Dimension can be accessed by the bin system, menu tools inside Fusion, and of course, tool access scripts like Control Spacebar. Let's have a look at an optical flow workflow. In this example, we have footage of a monkey climbing in a tree. The first thing we need to do is generate the optical flow. The optical flow creates a series of back vectors and forward vectors between the two adjacent frames. This data lets us know how the pixels are flowing between the series of frames. Once generated, we can then go into flow speed to retime the footage. The optical flow has two different methods of generating vector results. These are computationally expensive methods that are very accurate in working out what's happening in the flow of pixels between the images. There is an advanced set of controls that have been preset to give the best results in their default settings. While this workflow is rather simple, made up of just four tools, and because the optical flow can be expensive in terms of computational time, we suggest you write the optical results out to an intermediate format like EXRs. This format can store images and the vector data. ION offers groups of render nodes for use on a render farm or other computers to expedite this process. Once you have the intermediate format, the optical flow tools are very quick and interactive. Using the flow speed, we have now slowed this footage down five times. The other tool is the flow stretcher, which uses a spline to do non-linear speed changes. Here, we're going to have it very slow, speeding up, and right at the end, slow down again. Let's have a look at the results. A closer look at these time-based tools show that the interpolation method in these tools have the choices of nearest, blend, and flow. The flow method uses the vectors that we pre-generated to create the in-between frames. There are four checkboxes under the Source Frame and Warp Directions heading. What this means is that they use the previous frame with the forward vector and the next frame with its forward vector to create the in-between. These two results will be blended together. We can also use the previous frame with the back vector and the next frame with its back vector as well. Or we can use all four results that can get blended together to receive our final result. Depending on your footage, you may have to experiment with combinations to achieve the desired results. The next item is depth ordering. You have a choice between the slowest vectors on top or the fastest vectors on top. This is used to determine which parts of the frame need to be on top of the others. As parts of the image will overlap, this parameter controls the overlap rendering. In our example, the monkey is moving, but the vectors are actually moving from the tilt from the camera, which is happening very slowly. The slowest vectors will be the ones that we use on top, and the monkey's vectors will sit below. Two additional tools that use the optical flow method are the repair frame and the tween tool. The repair frame tool looks at sequential frames and repairs frame contaminants like dust and scratches. For example, we have a single scratch on this frame, so if we navigate there, we can use the repair frame and that will fill in the difference from the forward and back frames and remove the scratch. The repair frame self-generates the optical flow directly and uses blend between the previous and next frame using the forward vectors and the previous and next frame using the back vectors. Depth ordering choices are fastest or slower on top. A similar tool is the tween tool and it can be used to generate a frame that's completely missing out of the sequence. For example, we have frame 1 and frame 3 and we want to create frame 2. The tween tool solves this by looking at two frames and creates the in-between frame using the results of the optical flow data. The optical flow controls in the repair frame and tween use the same methods of deriving the vector data as in the standalone optical flow tools including the advanced controls. 
The primary difference is that the tween contains an interpolation slider that allows for nonlinear control of the warp from frame 0, the frame before, and frame 1, the frame after. A practical example of its use is if there were a sync difference on two cameras that is not a full frame. We can solve that by using the tween tool to generate the adjustments with a nonlinear interpolation such as a half or quarter frame. This video covered a simplified explanation of the Dimension Optical Flow toolset. For a more in-depth coverage, please consult additional masterclass videos and the Dimension Online Manual at manual.vfxpedia.com.